Hello, it's Joe Glines, and today I'm going to review a little bit of stuff with sites, some of the functionality um, in manipulating text in different ways. So first off, one of the things I love um, about site is this feature. Like, let's say, and, and I have right now, let's see if I go to view, turn off uh, the white space. So the, 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 those arrows you saw, which I'm going to leave them on because I think it'll help um, explain um, what's going on. Um, these are tabs right these arrows and let's say I want to for some reason I wanted to put something um, in be you know after the tab but before this next line now in in most other programs that'd be pretty difficult but in sight I can click anywhere I want right I can come in here and, and hold down the alt key and left mouse kick click and you'll notice you kind of makes a weird line there but what's pretty cool is once I'm in here I can say now that is cool um, so you can type cross lines, I can backspace, I could have deleted, um, let's say if I had wanted to get rid of the stuff, everything to the left of that. So this works great when when everything is lined up in the right way. Um, you know, they, they all match up perfectly. And uh, like here, the tab's over here, so I wouldn't be able to do that same thing because it's not going to grab it. So um, that's not going to work. But let me, before I... I finish up on that one just so I can do it again here. So, and you can click anywhere, right? In between here, and you, you hold down the Alt key, and you can start highlighting, and you can highlight whatever you want, um, and you can go left or right. The one, if I remember right, no, okay, it is is uh on this I can't click over here, right? It's not set up like Word has. You can click anywhere you want. So, the one thing you want to do is make sure whatever is your longest one, it's first. Or, of course, you can just add a lot of spaces, and then you can click and then you can get whatever you want. That's the only trick I'd say with that is like I wish I could and I think that actually is a setting but I, I got rid of it because it was putting in a lot of spaces I really didn't want. Okay so now let's say I actually did want to replace all of the tabs with um, something in between. So we come up with the search replace. Um, now first thing in the search replace you know what even um, let me show you this because according to if we scroll down to this file here according to this this web page um, oh you know what I, I'm gonna do this one second sorry let me get to here okay so I turned on this and I don't know how to say this correctly Poisix I don't know um, the the default is not to have it on and if the default is not on when you're doing pattern matches with like prints then you have to escape them so I added, let's see, I added this line at the bottom of my site user properties file. Um, I'm doing it for auto hotkey, so this is what mine look like. And let's see, right here is where that, that setting is. Um, I also added some other preferences that I, that I like to have online. Um, but for now, let's go back to here. And, and this allows me to use, um, it'll automatically realize the parens are for grabbing values instead of um, having to escape them. And man, when you have to escape them, it, uh, it's really tough reading. So, but first let's keep it simple. Okay, so let's say I want to replace a tab, and now what we're going to do is we're going to use regular expressions, right? Of course, if you're searching for words, you don't have to use regular expressions, but um, you make sure you turn on regular expressions, turn on, off, sorry, everything else. Um, and I'm going to say, I'm going to replace a tab with a tab, hello world, tab, right? The other nice thing is uh, I can do this everywhere. I can say replace all, right? And it just, it just did that. I don't know why, why it didn't, why the, oh, oh, um, is it didn't, it didn't, it didn't do the wraparound. That's all. There we go. Now it did all. Um. Let's go to those. Okay, and then so use the wraparound if you're if you're not at the very top, it'll just go that point forward or backward if you're doing the back replace. Um, but let's see where was I here? Um, so that was putting in the tab. So it replaces a tab with the tab. Hello world tab, right? Oh, what I want to show you was, let's say I have as you notice when I do it everywhere, it it happens everywhere. The other thing I can do is I can just highlight some words and replace in selection 
and so that way it's not doing it everywhere and I really like that option because sometimes I'm trying to manipulate something but I, I'm not sure or not if I have those same values elsewhere in my um, file and just by highlighting and saying replace in selection just much easier to control that you don't um, accidentally replace something elsewhere in your file but let's say you want to do something a little more let's say we want to replace um, let's say let's say we want to move this th in front of the four okay so this has to do with the regular expressions so we're gonna say I'm gonna grab a, a did sorry a digit right and then um, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna be lazy and say th so it's gonna find anywhere where there's a digit slash th and I'm gonna replace that and you know what let's even put a tab in between there so Hopefully you're familiar with regular expressions. If not, um, man, they're they're amazing, and and it's just kind of a steep learning curve. But what this should do is this is um, this paren here. This is one group, and then the next paren with the th is the second group. And here I'm saying replace it with put the f the second group first, and then put in a tab, and then put the first group. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna highlight these. I'm just gonna do everything, but keep it play it safe, and I'm gonna say replace in selection. And there you go. It inserted that tab, right? Let me undo that, and let's get rid of the tab. I didn't realize the tab would be that big. Um, come back here again, highlight those, replace in selection. So notice it swapped them around, right? Of course this wouldn't work again because I said a th. But what if I changed this to slash, oop, not d, um, w plus, right? And let's go back and undo this. This should still... Um, because that's a space, I don't think that qualifies as a as a word. Place in selection, and that still works, right? But it's 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 much more. It's not as specific. Um, and now let's let's do this. Let's here. Let's change the fourth and four or five to four comma fifty five and five comma. Let's do that. Five forty four. Keep it kind of consistent. So I'm going to say on the top here slash d plus comma and then slash d plus it'd help if I could type um, so now the nice thing about this right it's looking for one or more digits followed by a comma followed by one or more digits and this should be the only place for that and it's going to swap them right so I'm going to say replace all oops should not have said replace all <laughs> This is why I don't use that. Um, I like to highlight it. So replace in selection. Oh, you know what? There we go. I um, I messed that up. What I was trying to do is do this. There we go. So now you'll see it just basically toggle those, swap them back and forth. So now it moves the 44 in front of the 4 and the 55 in front of the 5. But the way I wrote it was look for one or more and a comma and one or more. So now when I do this again, replace in selection, it'll swap them back, right? Um, obviously, my example here is kind of stupid, but the point being, you can you can look for very specific things, control it, um, use regular expressions within sight. I, I used to do them all the time on a hotkey, but I realized a little bit of practice, you could do them in here. Now, what I was saying earlier is if we if we oops, that was not what I want to do. If we if I didn't have this, if it's missing or if it's um, or if we set it to zero, I'm not going to set it to zero, but I just want to show you. Um, if you was if you didn't include that or you didn't what you would have to do is something like this and honestly I have such a hard time reading it there I think that alright alright I'll try it test it out so let's make this a zero save it come back over here and replace in selection so see it still works but what if I got rid of those the the backslashes are escaping the parens. So this is this was my one I was working a few seconds ago. Replace in selection. It does nothing, right? Um, I come back in here, change this back to a one, save it, come back over, replace in selection. Working now. To me, incredibly easier to read, um, and I yeah I just I like it a, a lot more. Okay, so. This is all great. I have no idea why that's selected, um, but the regular expression is great. Um, the wraparound just means it's going to go over. Now, another one that's interesting, this is what I was um, accidentally showed you earlier, but according to this page, 
um, slash R and slash N, the line return and new line, they're never matched in, in Scintilla. Um, it stays on one line, right? So what you got to do is, uh, interesting enough, let's say I wanted to get rid of all the line breaks on this, and let's pick these because they're short. You know what? Here, let's even just write something else. Joe. Okay, so I want this all on one line, right? So I'm going to come in here, and instead of using a reg, um, this is to me this took me a, a sadly a long time to really get to where I could work um, reliably, and I'm going to separate them by a comma just so it's clear. Uh, you know what? Never mind. I'm going to separate my space because there's no white space after them. And all right, here's the trick: you got to turn off regular expressions. I don't want case. I, I must have set that on my defaults. Um, wrap around fine. Um, this is the one. So transform backslash expressions, right? By doing this, now when I say replacing selection, bam, right? It it does remove the line return new line, and you can replace it with you know I put it in a space here. Let me undo it. Let me put in. Um, Let's say I was putting this into an in list thing with SQL. Place in selection. Oh, nothing was selected. So there we go. Right, and then of course I'd have to do um, the ends, but um, not not hard if you have a long list. It's pretty convenient. Um, but those are the the big ones that I use, and then in, in between this this one right here with the backslash R in and in transforming these. Plus the regular be ability to use regular expressions and, and um, look for the patterns and, and move them around. It's it's amazingly amazingly helpful. Um, and again, this being able to just come in here and have anything and and do this that comes in incredibly handy a lot. And I don't think they're very well known or used features in sight. So I just want to do a tutorial on it. Thanks.